Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to take a look at this 40 watt solar panel from Goldie Green. I got this panel from flipkart.com about uh, two years ago and this cost me about 2500 rupees. However the price of this particular solar panel is reduced to maybe 2000 rupees. You can purchase this from flipkart for about 2000, uh, 2000 rupees now. This particular solar panel is a polycrystalline solar panel and there are two mainly largely used solar panels available. One is uh, monocrystalline and this particular one is polycrystalline. Uh, the monocrystalline solar panels are made from a single crystal of silicon and polycrystalline are made from multiple uh, crystals, shavings or parts that is not used. Uh, the unused part from monocrystalline silicon is melted and then um, uh, more wafers are uh, made from that silicon and that's why that's how they make the polycrystalline uh, solar panels so the one advantage of polycrystalline solar panels is that they are not very efficient as compared to the monocrystalline solar panels so let's quickly take a look at the size of the solar panel and measure how uh, big it is so as you can see uh, this is about 26 inches long and about about 18 inches wide uh, this panel is from uh, goldie green uh, the way to tell uh, the measure the power rating of a solar panel is uh, by measuring the uh, voltage and the current so let's quickly flip the solar panel and look at the back side of the solar panel itself Okay, so this is the uh, back side of the solar panel. Let me just zoom it in. And as you can probably see the goldy green logo there. There is your junction box. And let me just open the ju junction box for you. Once you open the junction box, uh, you can see that there are uh, two terminals. Uh, the right one is the positive one and the left one is the negative one. Let me just show you from closer. Okay. So I think you can see that the right terminal has a positive symbol that is the plus sign and the left terminal has the negative single symbol that is the negative sign. So to measure the panel uh, rating we need to measure the voltage of the solar panel that is the open circuit voltage as well as the, sh as well as the uh, short circuit current of the solar panel. So let's uh, do that. Okay so in DC system we use uh, two colors of wire the red wire and the black wire. The red wire is used to connect to the positive and the black wire is connected to the negative. Uh, if you can't remember that then remember it this way that uh, red is a bright color and bright things are associated with positive things. So red connects to the positive and black is a dark color and dark things are associated with negative things. So the black dark color connects to the negative. So I've connected two wires uh, to the uh, terminals red to the positive and black to the negative. And now we are going to measure the output from the solar panel using our multimeter. So all you have to do is change your multimeter setting uh, to the change your multimeter from the off position to the 20 volt setting like that. And we are going to connect our red probe from the multimeter and black probe from the multimeter to the red and black of the solar panel and that will give us the voltage that our solar panel is giving by the way um, uh, the time here is about 350 uh, pm so we're not going to be getting uh, much more uh, lot uh, we're not going to be getting uh, the full potential of the solar panel so let me just uh, flip the solar panel and then we will measure the voltage as well as the short circuit okay so as you can see the solar panel is under sunlight and the wire that we've connected to the solar panel are right here here is our multimeter let's put the multimeter down let's see how much uh, power we are getting from our solar panel So there is our multimeter. I hope you can see the reading. Let me zoom it in. 
there we go so let's connect the red probe to the red wire and the black probe to the black wire and as you can see let's increase the voltage to a little more there we go and now so we are getting about 20.1 volts the reason the meter wasn't displaying the voltage before because we are at the 20 volt setting and a 12 volt uh, solar panel typically gives about 18 19 or more than 20 volts so that's why the solar panel is giving uh, 20 volts and that's why the meter was not displaying uh, the reading before so you need to set your multimeter to the 200 volt dc setting and that way you will be able to measure the voltage out of your solar panel so let's write that down so let's zoom out a little bit so the voltage that we are getting from our solar panel is about 20.1 volt and we need to calculate the current that we will measure just now and the power of a solar panel is given by power p is equals to the voltage that you're getting from the solar panel multiplied by the current so the power power equals to the, we already have the voltage 20.1 times the current so let's calculate the current and to calculate the current what we need to do is we will need to change our multimeter probe from the uh, 200 milliampere fused socket to the 10 ampere maximum range as you can see here so once you've done that now you need to change your multimeter from the 200 volt dc setting to the 10 ampere maximum so let me just do that okay so we are at we are set to measure the current now let's do the same thing connect the black uh, sorry the red to the red probe and the black probe to the negative of the solar panel so we're getting a current of about there we go it's gone cloudy now so let's wait until it gets until we get the sun back so we are getting the sun back So we are getting about 1.14 let's call it 1.14 so let's write that down so we're getting uh, 1.14 so we got the current 1.14 amp let's put it here voltage we already have it current we just we just measured 1.14 and let's calculate the power so if we multiply these two numbers we will get the current so, so we will get a value of about uh, let's do it in our phone so we have our 20.1 voltage times the current 1.14 1.14 equals i don't know if you can see or not but we have a value of 22.914 so we get a power of 22.914 watts and this is at about 350 pm if you do this test i've done this test with this solar panel in full sunlight and i've got almost exactly uh, 40 watts one bummer with this solar panel is that it doesn't give uh, uh, not quite 12 volts but i've checked with other panels they all give about all 12 volt panel gives about 80 19 or 20 volts so there you go this was my test of the gold green uh, solar panel one drawback of solar technology is that they takes up a huge amount of real estate as you can see this is a really big solar panel and just, it is just only 40 watts so you get a very small of power for the amount of real estate the solar panel takes so if you put a uh, you can't even run a 100 watt or a 40 watt bulb using this solar panel at this moment so this is the uh, close-up of the solar panel as you can see the solar panels are rectangular in size and this is how they look one difference i have seen in between uh, polycrystalline and monocrystalline solar panel is that uh, polycrystalline solar cells are almost always rectangular or square in size however the monocrystalline solar cells have their corners cut off so what they look like are somewhat like this 
सो पोलिक्रिस्टलिन सोलर आर ऑलमोस्ट रेक्टेंगुलर और स्क्वेयर इन साइज अवेवर द मोनोक्रिस्टलिन सेल्स आर स्टिल स्क्वायर बट देयर कॉर्नर्स आर कट ऑफ लाइक दैट सो दिस इज हाउ मोनो सेलर्स मोनो सेल्स आर लुक लाइक एंड दिस इज हाउ पॉली सेल्स लुक्स लाइक and this is how you calculate the power you measure the voltage of the solar panel you measure the current of the solar panel and you mul multiply them and that's when you get the voltage of your solar panel so this is how you do it at the back of the solar panel you can see the gold green logo and here are some of the characteristics of the solar panels So there we go this was my review of the gold green 40 watt solar panel I hope if you I hope you like this video and I hope you learned something and I will see you guys in the next video bye